Hi, this video is going to show how to use PowerPoint to make printables and save as a PDF. And it's going to explain a few things to you. So I'm starting here with a pretty much blank presentation on PowerPoint. And the reason is I want to be able to layer some of the words. So um, first I'm going to make my title a little nicer and I'm going to add some fancier letters that I have and I'm going to make it bigger and color it because if I just make a PowerPoint and it goes on another person's computer they download it they won't have the same fonts I have so I want to save this as a PDF here is um, where I'm getting some of my art from. So I'm going to hyperlink it to Ginger Snaps Clip Art. And I'm going to link my own site. To the um, PDF, it's going to be a freebie. And so I would put a picture in here um, from my all graphics, my licenses. I would put um, maybe this, this one on. If I'm going to have this on a friend's blog, this goes to my friend's blog. So it has that permission, and that has to be linked. to um, Scrap and Doodles. So um, that they can see I have this license. To format the background, I can pick a solid fill. Here I could pick purple. I could apply to all or just leave it on the one. I could pick a gradient fill. I could pick one of these presets. I'm sure you've seen these online. If you pick something really dark, um, it might be hard to see the words, and I'll show you what to do about that in a minute. You could do a picture or text um, background. So I would go to desktop, all files, all graphics. I would look for some papers. Maybe I want to have red polka dots or whatever I want. I can either apply to all or just to this one. Now I can't read my words real well, so I'm going to insert a shape. And supposedly people like rounder corners better than sharper corners. I'm going to format it. So I'm going to pick maybe that. And my line, I'm probably going to make a thicker line there. And I don't want to cover up my words, so I'm going to send to the back. So if I add any other clip art, I need to also credit those sources, whatever I'm going to do, whatever I need. So my next slide is just blank. And I'm going to insert a picture, and you're going to see why I um, like PowerPoint for doing this and why so many people do. And I'm picking 3D shapes. So I'm going to put this picture here. Now in Word, I couldn't put a picture or a word on top of a picture, but on here, I can. and that maybe um, is a little going to be a little bit hard to read so maybe I'll format the box to be white I don't know if I got that maybe text outline blue and shape fill white and I'm going to write in here sphere and the nice thing about PowerPoint is you can layer and have more pictures and things. 
So maybe I want more spheres in this. So I'll have another picture. I'll add a basketball. Um, I'll add a... Oh, I don't want that clip art. I want um, this sphere. Show all the different kinds that you can have. Maybe I want this word on all three. So one really good way to use PowerPoint is to be able to layer those things. I'm going to insert a, I'm going to see if I can do this, um, put a text box here. You can actually make word worksheets right in here, so 3D work work page you can put name um, and you can put date and you can fancy it up with borders and all those different things um, so insert a text box here and maybe I say um, draw a box around this sphere and then I'm going to add some shapes in here so I'm going to insert a picture I'll maybe put my basketball there I'm going to give some other choices so maybe I'll put a cube in there and maybe I'll put um, a cylinder now I can keep going this way and then save it as a worksheet but I can also um, like if I want different letters on here and I want to say choice A, B, and C maybe this is choice A so I can number the things so, and I could say which letter is the correct answer so you can save it. Now this person probably doesn't want all these things on a presentation so I'm going to go to save as and I'm going to save as a PDF and then it publishes as a PDF of course I put a lot more stuff on this and then I can put the PDF on my blogger website when I finish it. Okay, That's just a little demonstration of what you could do Thanks for listening.